Mmm, crunchy. Crunch, crunch the crunchy. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> now it's an innie. Oh man. So this is Mickey's Corrado. That's Mickey. Uh, this this is a family heirloom, I guess. I guess yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's a, it's a 1.8 liter eight valve that you would find in this. There's no supercharger, so this actually has the ABA serpentine belt set up uh, along with some aluminum pulleys and things. But the supercharger brackets are all gone, and uh, it's still boosted. So this is an air-to-water intercooler, and hiding out down under there is a GT28 RS turbo, which is an upgrade for the Nissan Skyline has twin turbos factory so that would be a upgrade for one of the twins uh, a single GT28 RS is capable of flowing somewhere between 260 and 300 horsepower worth of air uh, this is a counter flow cylinder head that does not flow very much so I'm expecting maybe 260 at the wheels maybe at the absolute most with it fully turned up maybe might do that I don't know. I've had that out of a diesel turbo on one of these. Anyway, uh, I've worked on this car quite a bit. There's a very old video on my channel of us wrapping the exhaust when we built the downpipe and stuff. Almost 10 years ago. That was a long time ago. Um, and just got it buffed out. I'll put some pictures in. Um, but before we go over the rest today, we're going to build a throttle cable bracket. So the original version of this car has a mechanical blow-off valve. It's actually like air recirculation. So there's this, it actually comes out to here. And then there's separate linkage below and a valve that dumps down. And then there was a boost pipe that comes around here and goes back to the intake of the supercharger. So we eliminated all of that. There's now a blow-off valve here on the intercooler. <coughs> And this is actually off of an automatic Corrado because the automatics use a standard TPS for the kickdown cable. The factory car's engine management used switches to determine whether it was at idle or full throttle and just kind of figure out the rest in between. So uh, with that factory inlet gone and this giant inlet replacing it, there's no throttle cable bracket for it. Um, something needs to go here. Uh, with like a twist in it for that bushing to go about in the factory location So I think that's what we're going to try for today a really simple solution for that I think will work pretty good and before I do that I'm going to check in a couple places just to make sure I don't have any brackets laying around that would fit there Yeah, those unplug from the back There might be a tab you have to squeeze or something Yeah. Nope, they just pull Yeah, wiggle and pull yep Cool. And then that long silver one's your EGT probe that's sticking out with the radio hull. Yeah, so snake those over with with that one. Okay, I'll set up here. Get a measurement. This would be just roughly how thick it is. I think a little bit more than that. You always cut too much and then back cut back later, right? Let's go. Let's go five inches for fun. So I'm just gonna use this to scribe a line. One-handed. I already made a line. Okay, so this sits something like this. And it's best if the angle's out like this over here, so. Hmm. Alright, so the top is about here. So this is what the factory throttle body looks like. 
this is the original throttle cable attachment as you can see that doesn't work on the new car and this joint also had this you can see this was blocked off from previous modifications and the linkage has been removed but that's the bottom of the throttle linkage and then that would actually operate the butterfly that's in there for boost control so I'm going to take this this is the side it bolts on the engine like this so I'm going to get a pattern off this side to transfer to the piece of steel all right so throttle body piece of paper and I'm just going to take my my dirty fingers here and no TV magic or anything it's just living a dirty life dirty dirty life there you go we got our pattern Mickey was working on the gauge pod. We've got a pyrometer and a wideband AFR gauge. And you can see here, this used to be uh, pretty racy. We got a new one of those pieces to go in. And uh, we need to find some air vents that haven't been painted either. But now that we have a new bezel, I can try my hand at some tactics removing the paint. See if we can do it without hurting the plastic just mess around but uh, we're getting that ran and doing it in a way that we don't hurt the pillar in case we want to remove that later so that's what he was doing so another couple things off the list waiting for the paint to dry fitting this AC condenser to the Vanagon radiator so that's the old serpentine condenser that's on there this is a parallel flow style but the throttle cable bracket's all done. Just waiting for the paint to dry. I added extra weld on here to keep it stiff. It doesn't twist or bend at all. Rounded all the corners so you don't cut your fingers on it. It's only 32%. <laughs>